Chess Vibes interviews Paco Vallejo, second of Veselin Topalov. Paco Vallejo, uh, here in Sofia working for uh, Veselin uh, Topalov. Um, I think your your uh, your boss is doing uh, fine, uh, although he's not uh, yet in first place. Uh, so, uh, can you share some experience uh, of this tournament? Well, it's uh, this tournament uh, for me. I mean, it's for the work I'm doing. It's quite tough. I mean, I'm dur I'm working during all night normally, and at least okay, Vesely is playing is playing very well, so it's it's fine by the moment. Yes. Yeah, yesterday I interviewed uh, Ivan Ceparinov's uh, second Aaron Lamy, and he also said that he had to work uh, a lot of nights. Uh, so it's a, it's a tough job being a second, right? Yeah, in fact, uh, I didn't know it was like that. But okay, during the match in Elista, uh, I learned a lot from Topalov and Ceparinov. They were working in this way because okay, after normally after the game they give you some advices and where to you have to try to find some ideas and then uh, okay during the night you have like six eight hours uh, easily for working and even during the morning he's coming to the room and uh, we're checking the ideas so it's not easy and uh, to what extent uh, do you think uh, computers are still useful for, for checking? I mean, do, you, do you use them a lot or do you have to uh, um, rely more on, on still on, uh, on your own uh, uh, ideas of chess? No, in fact, I mean, I mean, a big percentage of the time I spent working on chess for Topi is, uh, of course, with computers because normally I mean, they play extremely strong already. So only in some kind of positions you can try to really, I don't know, think by yourself and find some ideas that computer will never find, probably. All right. And um, what do you think of today's game? Uh, at the moment, after the first time control, it seems uh, about equal. But um, yeah, what do you think of the first 40 moves? Well, I think, uh, okay, Topalov got a slightly worse position after the opening, but then he played uh, really calm, uh, waiting for his opportunities. Then Chucky went into, into time trouble, and then Topalov played quite okay, and he, he got a nice position with two bishops and an open position. But then in, then in move 41, I'm not sure he played the best move. He played some queen d7. I thought probably, okay, I thought and checked a little bit with computer. Bishop e8 was very very strange move, but very clever probably. And after that probably he had some advantage, but now it's probably about equal, but uh, he has more time, and so I have, I'm confident he can have some chances to win. Okay, uh, last question. You had uh, some success uh, um, in Dos Hermanas uh, about a month ago. Uh, you, you beat Shirov, and then you were slightly in, in a bit of trouble because you, uh, you, were, you, you had lacked time actually to, to be in time for Plovdiv, right? Uh, can you tell us about that story? Yeah, it was like that. They invited me to, to play in Dos Hermanas a long time ago, like, I don't know, three months ago, something like that. And then I realized that uh, I had no time to do both things properly. And then, okay, I think Dos Hermanas was unrejectable. I mean, very good conditions and great opponents, so I couldn't reject Dos Hermanas. So the f next step was to try to arrive in Plovdiv as soon as possible, as soon as possible. And finally, I had to miss the first round with a draw. That was not so bad, but uh, of course, in such a tournament, you need to make at least four wins. So, I mean, start with one draw is a very bad result, but I couldn't do anything else. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.